What's going on, my tap tap auto fans? How y'all doing? Well, it is, uh, it's fucking cold. Yes, it's cold. Right now, it is cold. Um, today is what, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. It's cold. I think it's like, uh, 50-something right now. Yeah, we don't get too many... Too many much of summer up here. I'm telling you, damn, it ain't cold. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to have to keep these videos short and sweet again because the computer is doing the same bullshit as it used to and the other computer crashed. So, right now I got the gas tank up in there with the heat shield and I got the stuff to fix this exhaust hanger and yeah it's getting back in there uh, got the motor back in it transmission's back in it we're getting it done look at that mm. getting there guys alright I'll be back Oh, you guys, thank you. I think it's looking good. Yeah, like I said in my previous video, the auto parts store did take that other shitty ass fuel pump back. But what's cool is they gave me a smaller one. Same PSI, just smaller. And that's cool. But I was having a problem with that long son of a bitch trying to fit it in here. But now with that smaller one, I can mount it about right here. I get this here's the main fuel line. Like I say, I don't want to I don't want to do anything to this car that someone could not come back and put this car back to original. Maybe even me if I win the lottery one day. But I don't want to cut these lines or anything. I would want to just run a hose from here because we you already seen the video with me uh, fixing the gas tank. And I'm gonna finish tightening up this damn brake booster. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't finish tightening that up. Okay, or the uh, master cylinder. Um, but now I can run a hose from here to here, just be right here, and then I can just whoop a hose all the way back, and it plugs right here in the front of the carburetor. Yes. If y'all wondering why I went to the brass caps instead of the uh, um, the ones that's got the hexagon, you know, divots and stuff. Two reasons why I didn't do it do with those uh, flush plugs, as I think it was what they call them. One reason is they just they hold so much damn dirt. I mean. Literally, you open up your hood and, you know, people open up their hood and stuff like that and they got them in there. And yeah, they look good, but nobody cleans the inside of the damn dirt out and stuff. And I just wanted to be different. Oh, look pretty cool. Yes, I don't know why Edelbrock has so many. And no, I do not. Uh, I am going to put my thermostat sensor is right here. I'm going to use the one in the block. And then down there, I'm taking that uh, sensor off and I'm putting the um, oil sensor there. So water, oil. And then, so, yeah. All right, guys, I think I'm getting out of here for the day. I'm going to let this Gorilla Glue sit overnight. I had to uh, do a little bit of fixing on the uh, air shocks. The original ones down there shot. Well, yeah, those are the original AC Delco shocks. Yep, and they are gone. All right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope, uh, hoping here pretty soon and stuff like that. Um, figure out something to do about, uh, well, I'm gonna just take that one laptop that a good buddy of mine that watches my channel. Thank you a lot. I'm going to take that one back uh, to a professional uh, guy that uh, I kind of know there in um, 
Travers. I don't really know him. We've actually done business together, but I don't know him. But I'm actually going to take that laptop to him and say here, screw it. See how much that's going to cost. So here's the gauge that is going in it. Y'all seen these in a, the earlier videos. What's cool is the oil pressure gauge is electronic. And I've never used one of these. So I'm going to ask my YouTube fans out there. The This one here is all electronic. The water is electronic. The oil is electronic. Of course, you know, the votes has always have been. But uh, tell me if y'all guys used one of these. And how good is it? Um... I had a real good fan that sent me this quite a while ago. I still thank you a lot. I hope you're still watching my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm still going to use this, as you see. Um, I just never used one of these before and would like to get people's opinion about it. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I couldn't believe I had to do all this. All this. Just to get new shocks in this. Because the shock upper shot boats right there that was a pain in the ass and as y'all see no i took and put the heat shields back on the car i know a lot of people leave them out i'd say a lot of these cars leave them out stuff like that so i put the heat shield back up up over the exhaust this exhaust was actually a pain in the ass to put in but got it in and uh yeah pretty soon we're gonna be putting some rear tires on it guys and then I'm going to be putting, tightening these bolts really down good. And then putting the interior back in. But yeah, it is getting there. Yeah, that looks good. So that's why I went ahead and decided to go with that hood over there. Because I knew that that was going to be too tall. And as you can see, with the butterfly on there. Man, these things really fit snug inside their housing there. Oh, yeah, it's like right on the edge of being just too tall. And then with the uh, wing nut on top of stuff like that, it would be way too tall. So, but we're going to go with that hood over there with the six inch cow induction hood. We're just going to fix it to make it look good. All right. Well, that's it for the day, guys. And one day, y'all be able to tag with me again. Promise. But uh, one good thing, though, is I think it got my house sold. Uh, there are some people that was looking at it and stuff like that uh, during the winter. And then they need something happened. They had some issues or something. And, uh, yeah, pretty soon there is going to be a new Tapped Out Auto headquarters. That's going to be exciting. Everything in one spot. I have it spoiled as hell. Alright guys, I'll catch y'all later. Remember, keep it dirty.